Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the StockSwish.co. This is a spy market review. I thought I would go over it today, and I actually didn't look at the market for a few days. Sometimes it's good to take a few days off where you don't look at the market for over the weekend, which I typically do. I typically look at the market every day, even during the weekends. Uh, but I haven't looked at the market really since Thursday. And when I got up this morning, I looked at it. And on Thursday, I did call that that was going to be the low in the market, and I was right. Now, on Friday, again, I didn't look at the market on Friday, I didn't trade on Friday, but on Friday, the market was very bullish in the morning, ran up to the target of resistance, based out of lunch and broke down, and closed the day bearish, meaning the bar, the candlestick, had a large topping tail, could have been construed as bearish, but all it was was a hard rally into resistance early in the morning, and, the, and then the market pittering out into the close. But the market did trigger on a daily buy setup and closed and held it on Friday, even though this has a bearish look to it. And even though this is a bearish look to it, let's take this away. So I was really excited today when I saw the market because I knew then that the call that I made for the market to go higher was following through. Today is the confirmation. The market will make it over the high. I've been saying that the exact day that it does it, I do not know. And there's still a possibility today the market can hit the next target in here. So we'll go over it. But I just want to point out what was taking place into this uh, move down in the market, which, by the way, is not a significant move down. I'm doing a webinar today about reading price. And the one thing is that I like to short. That's all that I do. Now, I can go long. I know how to go long. I've been calling the market long. How was, have I been able to call the market long? And so many people have been calling the market to come in. Because I'm very good at reading weakness, because that is what I do. That is all that I do, okay? So I know the difference between something being weak and not being weak, okay? And this market is not weak. Now, what do people typically do? They're looking for a way to play this, feeling that it's so extended that they can't go long. And yeah, this is exactly what people should be doing. But people want to short this market because they want volatility. But the volatility comes in the direction of the trend, which for the market is intact and it is up and has never been broken here. It wasn't even broken here, actually. But this did a failed buy setup here, so people took it as entry to go short. A failed buy setup is not an entry. It did a second lower high here and a failed buy setup that people went short. And you could have shorted the market the same made money. Would I have done that? No. Did I do that? No. And I, I short. But it's not a good call. It's not a quality trade. Remember, you can make money doing stuff. It doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't mean it's, gonna, it's something that you should do. Because if you get in the habit of doing things that are wrong, guess what? You will continue doing them. So get in the habit of doing things that are right, and you can't go wrong. I mean, you'll make money if you do things that are correct trades. This failed to go higher here, but then gapped up. Looked like I was going to make new highs here. Didn't do it. Held, held, did a nice, beautiful sandwich, made it up here, and actually retested the high. Thought it was going to blow over the high this day, but didn't do it. Came down, retested, did a double top, and fell in hard and made a bearish bar. This is a bearish bar. This is a double top. It is, but it's not an entry to go short. Okay, another failed buy set up here. Now the market's holding today. This is a beautiful buy today. I aggressively called the market long today. Aggressively called the market long today out of the gate was a good solid entry. And again, you know, I typically like to go short, not, not go long. Um, and really here, this held 50. It was a couple of pennies under 50. So if you had to stop in this at 49, and didn't take it out and give it a little teeny weeny room, you might have gotten taken out of this. Or you might have gotten out of half the profit from the morning trade and then re-entered this here because this is I, I, this is not coming in. The market's not coming in. The market is not coming in. The market's higher. The market's higher. Where does it blow? Possibly over 188 and possibly over 189 and definitely over 189. And tomorrow morning, I see us gapping neutral or up. As of right now, it's 12.15. It's so far away from 4 o'clock. Market could hit the next target here before before the end of today. Market is a long. Market is a long. Market is a long. How many times do I have to say it? Do not short this market. Do not short it. Sam, I am. Okay? I was talking about this in the room. Somebody was asking me about shorting this. I said, don't short it. Don't short it. Buy the market. Okay? Let's look. 
Be beautiful call here. I made the market today. Beautiful call. I've been making the market for the last two years. I've been calling the market so well all of 2013, all of 2014. Gaps is it, people. It is. It, I'm reading price so well because I understand gaps. And you can do it too. You can do it too if you learn how to read gaps. So I called the market aggressively here over the high. Okay. And the stop I gave held when it came down here and tested. You got to give a cushion to these ETFs. If you trade them or buy them or short them, it doesn't matter. They need more of a cushion. Can't play ETFs tight. You can play them, but not tight. All right, it was wild today. Raced up. Raced all the way up. Broke 187, which was the first target. Next target's 187.34. Didn't hit up there yet. Got up to 187.18. So the next target here for the long today in the market is 187.34. Then 187.90. Then 188. Then 189. And the market is going to probably, here, look at this beautiful chart here. Woo! Market will get to the next target today. Whether or not it gets to the second or the third or the fourth, I don't know if we run on a day here or not. Beautiful long in the market. So I know what's happened here is that a lot of people were in stocks that were positive, that were good longs, that people have taken uh, out of their longs. People have actually taken profits in their longs. Flat, some a little, some a lot. People are taking profits in their longs because they thought the market was getting top, it was going to come in. So now what's going to happen is people that have taken profits in longs are going to see the market holding here today, or if not today, by tomorrow. I mean, it is going to hold here. Whether or not people see this today or not, I, I don't know what people see, but this is very obvious to me. And in any event, then people will re-enter the strong stocks to go long that have pulled in that will push the stocks higher back into their trends, which they are still in uptrends, and then they will work and run and fly with the market, and the market's going to fly too. So the market will give everything a lift. The strong stocks that are still strong will get, get their lift. This market has never been correctly in anything that would even remotely look like a short, okay? I know what people saw here. I saw what people were doing, but it was never a short. And we pulled in in a strange way where we got selling and some shorting, but it didn't really go anywhere, but that's it. It had a bunch of red bars in here, a bunch of bearish bars. They kind of were sideways action instead of having a nice pulling in a V, but this is it. This is it. I believe that this gap up here today instigates the move that gets us over the high. Been waiting for it for the last month and a half. And I see that people shorted this market. It was not the correct action. And the shorts will get, some shorts are going to be blown out over 188. And the majority is going to be one over 189. So if you are long the market today, you want to stay in this to get paid. And if you're not long the market, if you killed your longs and stocks, you got to go back and relook at yourself and relook at what you do and figure out what's missing. And it probably is what I do, which is looking at gaps. Here goes the market. Here goes the market over the high. Beautiful call today. I made the market. Go, go, go. This market is going to blow, blow over the next number. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> what a great call I made in this market today. Ooh. I hope the people that went along in the room today are getting this. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, this is so early, too. This is so early, too, to be happening. It's only 12.19. Four more hours to go only to make it up a buck. Market, market, market. I just realized that today as I was talking in the room, why I've been calling this market so well to the upside. It's because I'm so well at reading weakness. And I knew the market wasn't weak. It wasn't really weak. And I'm good at reading power. I'm good at reading power direction. I'm good at reading price. I'm good at reading directional power. De price. Price, 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 price. This market is going to really blow higher here. Market was never toppy. Market was never short. Market was never extended. Market was never not in an uptrend. Market looking like a rubber band or something, looking like a rubber band in the opposite direction. Today, market looking like it's going to push, 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 push. Great call here on the market. Tough call, tough call to make, and I made it because it's real. So, you know. Thirty-four. Yeah, thirty-five. So it's gonna get to thirty-five. I think it blows over thirty-five. Next target is here. 
187.90. Every little teeny weeny, every little number here. Every little number, take out some of the shorts. Every little number here. The market's getting bought. The market is a long. So here it goes. Look at this. Look! This is happening on nothing but just regular buying. There's no data. There's no announcements. There's no minutes. There's no nothing. Look at this beautiful market. It's 1220. This isn't a major reversal time. There's no economic data. The market's just getting a lift. It's just getting bought. 188 today for the market looks within sight and very realistic. Not even a dream target. Dream target day for the market is 189. Yeah, there it is. What a nice call. So, you know, my advice to people is this, and I'm telling you this from experience. Get really, really, really good. Become an expert in one strategy, which I can't see doing anything else other than gaps, actually. But one strategy and one directional bias. And then when you're doing that one direction so well where you're an expert, you will be able to very easily do the other direction well. The problem is that people flip from thing to thing to thing and even directional biases and never really, really get good at doing one direction. I don't care if it's short or long. You get a bullish gaps, but I'm reading bullish gaps so well now because I've got so good at the shorts. So get really good at one directional bias in the strategy you do first and then do both. You've got to get good at one thing first. You see how being good at reading at doing shorts has helped me read longs better now. I'm reading that the stuff that isn't, that isn't really weak and I'm reading what is really weak and then I'm reading the power of what is actually strong. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it's so true. So if you had to stop under 50 tight, you might have gotten booped out of this, or you might have given a little wiggly jiggly. Again, this is what happens with longs. They do tails, ding you out, rally up. You just have to give them more room. I play shorts tight because you can. Longs, you got to give some more room sometimes, and 50 was the number. But what a beautiful, here it is. This mark, this is going to get to the target right here. Let's just watch it. 35, 34, 35. It's just going to go right here. It's doing a sandwich in the one. I told people this morning, if you really, really, really want to get paid in this, you, you got to, you got to hold it. You got to hold this puppy. So market's bullish. No one should have shorted this market ever. And, and, and you can see how people did. You can see how people did. See that? Look. What is the time of the day? 12.23. So, you know, the market could continue right through here, or it could pull in again before 2. Uh, you know, again, as the day goes on, really tough to trade on the one-minute chart for entries, unless you know the exact numbers for the entry and the stop. Otherwise, you got to play in a bigger time frame here to take positions in the afternoon. And personally, I'm a gap trader, so I really just trade the morning. But here was a day where you could have traded the market all day. I said you could have been long the market into the close. And I think you can be long the market into the close if you did this. Or if you're not in it, you got to wait for a setup on the 5 or the 15, which it may not even get. But I think it might because this is really happening quite early here. There might actually be a quality 5 or 15 minute uh, pull in buy in the market here because it's so early and the time of the day for that would be between 145 and 215. New high in the market here and again, you know again I, I know people shorted this this morning this was the craziest thing in the world to do. Even when this was happening here I said oh people are shorting this and I saw it. People are shorting this here and I saw it. People are shorting this here and I saw it. Now it caused the market to pull into the low but basically this is holding because it held the number. And then was it immediate buy again, or you're still in it from the original buy from the morning? Although you would have had to take profits out of something there in that move in the morning, because you got to book, you got to get green sometime in the morning. You must get green in the morning by 10:30, 10:45, 11 o'clock, something. But anyways, I could tell that traders were shorting this. I mean, I could tell that people, were, I knew people were shorting this, but that's not the people that are actually making the move. How do I know? Look, it's over the high. I called it to get over to the up to the number this morning. You got to be with the power. The power is always the right trade. It's always the right trade. And, and the way to predict that is gaps. So I'm doing a golden gap class this weekend. I'm doing a gap day, a bonus day, uh, which I did once last year. And I'm doing it now here this spring. So April 8th. 
I'm going to do a three-day class. It's going to be Saturday, Sunday, and then a bonus day on Tuesday, which is going to be live training in the morning and then a gap review day where we go over gaps. Okay? So uh, think about it. I don't. The class is two days. That's the class, but I'm doing a special review day, which is a bonus third day this week, this uh, class for April. It's going to be April 8th. Beautiful call here I made in the market. I'll give myself a round of applause. No, I'm not even in this. So, yeah, you know, I, again, back in here, I kept saying we're going to get over the high, we're going to blow over the high, we're going to blow over the high. Do we do it this week? Well, it's probably, probably because people are going to see this today, and you just can't see this in any other way today is bullish. I mean, really. Anyways, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Email me if you're interested in the gap class this weekend, April 5th and 6th. If you want to do the class to learn gaps before second quarter earnings starts in April, this is the class you want to take. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Market's bullish. Let it run. Buy the market today in a higher time frame quality. Buy setup if you, if you know how to take the position, if you know how to take the trade. And I hope that people are still long this in the room to get this up over the high to the bigger numbers. So good job today. I'll see everybody in the next video. Webinar tonight at 5.30 where I'm going to talk about price. And maybe I'll have time here even to talk about this market. Really beautiful market call by me today, Melissa, with the thestockswish.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information on the Golden Gap course. Thanks.